Hello everybody, today we're going to talk a little bit about spinning and um, in particular light tackle spinning or, or light spinning. Um, when it comes to light spinning, one of the main things for us in the area that we fish is getting distance on your cast. So we're going to talk about how you can improve distance but at the same time have strength on your braid and your leader in order to land fish in difficult areas. All right, so. Um, I'm going to talk you through three types of leaders I use when I do spinning. Um, and this, when I say light spinning, I'm talking about spinning with a 10 or 12 pound braid um, going through to medium spinning where you're spinning with a 20 to 30 pound braid. And the, th the three techniques I'm talking about applies to all of that sort of categories of braid. Um, we're specifically talking shore spinning. So this is not spinning off the boat. I guess you can use it on the boat if you feel like it, but this is mainly for shore spinning where there's obstacles in the water, like reeds um, or, or sticks, or you're fighting fish over sand bank where your braid rubs on the bank, etc. All right, so I'm gonna start with the first one, which is probably the common way or the old way we all do spinning, which is coming directly from your braid um, in this case, um, it is a 20 pound braid from a 20 pound braid to a 40 pound leader. So um, how we always do it, and I still fish like this a lot when there's no structure in the water, um, is literally just having a meter to 1.5 meter fluorocarbon leader straight onto my casting braid joined with an FG knot. The advantage of fishing with this method where you're fishing with your fluorocarbon straight to your casting braid at the, that there is the least amount of resistance when you cast um, with your braid flying through the air. So you've got this one meter piece of fluorocarbon leader straight onto your braid and you'll get the maximum amount of distance. The disadvantage of this method is that if you're fishing in an area where there's structure, you've only got this one meter protection and if you're fighting a fish, usually when it comes to the frontier where you need to pull it through the bricks or lift it over structure, this little one meter of leader is not enough and you get cut off on your thin main casting braid. So this is, brings us to our second way of doing the leader, and this is called a step leader. And I'm gonna explain to you guys how I do the step leader. There's two different ways I'm doing the step leader. Uh, I'd say the first step leader is gonna be for fishing in areas where there's a bit of structure, but you're not too worried about sharp reef and stuff, so you just want a little bit of protection, and then we'll talk about the last method when we get there. All right, so what we're going to do with our second method, the, just a normal step leader, is I'm going to take off my fluorocarbon leader and go straight to my braid. So I'm just going to cut this off for fishing light tackle spin. So I just want to explain again the reason we're doing the step leader from super thin braid, which could be anything from six pound, depends how light you want to fish. Um, up to 20, 30, 40 pound, you can just step up the thicknesses of your leader compared to your braid as you wish. Um, the main purpose of this is distance in the cast. So you don't want to fish, um, or you don't, you want to get your lure in as far as possible, and the way to get your lure in as far as possible is to fish with a thin braid. So if I had, for instance, um, 50 or 60 pound braid on this little reel, and I was throwing a 40 gram jig, I'd get no distance. And if the fish are lying in the zone, 80 to 100 plus meters from me, distance is key. So the whole purpose of the step leader is to have a leader to protect my braid when I'm fighting a fish, but also having this thin braid and getting the distance in order to place a lure in the zone I want it. Right, so let's start this, or let me show you guys how I do this. So I've got my little thin casting braid then I'm going to grab my leader and this is where it's key. Um, I'm just going to throw this on the floor here. The distance or the length of this leader is very important. You make it too short, it's absolutely pointless. Um, you make it too long, you're going to have too long piece of heavier leader going through the air and it's going to have a lot of resistance and you're going to defeat the whole um, purpose of the exercise in, which is to get distance. So what I'm doing is uh, here is my 20 pound, but if this was for instance 12 or 15 pound, I would go to a 20 pound leader. 
And this 20 pound leader, I'm gonna put 20 meters of it on. So that 20 meters will fly through the rod quite quickly and it will still give me the distance I require to get the lure in the zone. The 20 meters is enough as well to protect my thin braid when I'm fighting a fish. Um, you know, when you're standing on the shore, you're not very high up, your braid is quite flat on the ground and if there's a few humps or a few rocks or sticks in the water, your main braid can touch it. So 20 meters is enough to protect your main thin braid from rubbing off. So as I said, in practice, I would definitely use a FG knot, but for the purpose of this, we'll just quickly use a uni knot to join the two braids. So I'm doing a, un a uni to uni, just a uni on either side. Thin to the thick and the thick to the thin. And like I said, if you are fishing with, for instance, 20 pound casting braid, you can use a 50, 60, 70 pound leader. All depends on your situation, where you're fishing and how far you want to get your lure into the water. And obviously the weight of your lure also determines how much you can go up on your leader. All right, so there we've got our, our knot joining our casting braid to our leader. I'll cut this off roughly. And then I'm gonna measure off 20 meters. Okay, so obviously it doesn't have to be exactly 20 meters, approximately 20 meters. Cut that off. So we're doing the step up. So I'll wind this on quickly. All right, so that's wind on a bit roughly there, but do it properly afterwards. So there we've got our casting braid going to a 20 meter leader. And this is the first way I'd fish it. So um, what I would do then is I'll put back my fluorocarbon leader onto this, my one meter to 1.5 meters. And something that's very, very important about this fluorocarbon leader is you don't want this going through your guides when you're fishing, when you're casting. So depending on how long your drop is, how you cast, that's how long you would make this piece of fluorocarbon. So my drop, drop is normally about 1.5 meters. So the maximum length I'll go on this is 1.5 meters. I don't want this not going through my guides because it's resistance and it takes distance off your car. So um, the tip guide of your rod should be before this knot. So that's how you determine how long this little fluorocarbon it is. But on average, I'd say 1.2 to 1.5 is perfect. So I'd put this little fluorocarbon leader back onto my 20 meter leader, which is joined to my main line. And that I'll fish in areas where there's like a little bit of round boulders in the water or a bit of grass and but I'm just a little bit scared that I might cut off and having that protection will stop me from losing fish. So the third and the last method of putting on a leader um, or calling this a step leader is when I'm fishing in a very foul area when I'm standing on rocks fighting fish that dive down in the front and there's a very good chance that I'm going to cut off and that I find my, my, my 20 meter leader is going to be too soft and I'm scared that might be cut off. What I do then is I add five meters of heavy leader onto this, another braided leader. So this, the step's gotta be gradual. So I'll go from 12 pound to 20 pound, 20 meters, and then I'll do five meters of 50 or 60 pound, which is a nice thick leader, not too thick. You can still get the distance you require, but you've got that five, six meters of protection when a fish dies down and looks for those sharp reefs to cut you off. So onto this, I'll grab my, in this case, I'm taking a nice thick leader, just so you guys can see it. But if I was fishing with this setup now from 20 pound, I would go to most probably like a 60 pound leader. And I would add this onto my 20 meters of first leader, I'll call it. Um, also using an FG knot in practice. And here for filming purposes, just a quick uni knot. And 
on this knot, we're going from the, the thinner leader to a heavier leader, a FG knot is absolutely critical. Um, you, this is going through your guides, so you don't want that knot to catch your guides and take distance off your cast. So, more than anything, the FG is important here. You can see the uni knot there is quite big and bulky, so I would never use that in, um, when I'm fishing. So, I've got my main braid, 20 meters of my first leader, and then I'll add five meters of this leader. And after we put that five meters of heavier leader on, we'll go back to our fluorocarbon leader, which at the end of that, you're obviously gonna attach your lure and attach your fluorocarbon to this heavy leader with another FG knot. So what's the purpose of the fluorocarbon? Very simple. It, it, the fluorocarbon is there to disguise your braid. So this piece of fluorocarbon is not that visible to the fish in the sea. So your lure presents, well, you haven't got a dark piece of leader attached to the lure and changing the action of the lure or making it look funny. This fluorocarbon keeps the lure nice and straight in the water. It's, the fish can't see it in the water and it presents your lure nicely in the water. So guys, that is the, the, the step leader and how we use it in practice. As I said, you can play with yours. Depending on the, the thickness of your main braid, your casting braid, and how far you want to uh, cast and where you want to fish and what the structures you're fishing, you can play around by the, with this whole setup we use. But the, the way I fish it and the general way that I've learned to fish it is from my main leader, my main braid, I'd add 20 meters of a, a heavier or say double the thickness of my casting braid. And then if I'm fishing in bad areas, add five meters of heavy leader onto my fluorocarbon leader, which is attached to my lure. All right guys, so that is the step leader I use and I hope it helped you guys a bit.